Welcome back, guys. My name is Chris, and today we are talking VHS tapes. That's right. Do you remember these things? If you have a stockpile like the one behind me or know somebody who does, then learning how to digitize these relics is a great way to save memories and possibly generate some income. It should go without saying, but to digitize these VHS tapes, you're going to need a VCR. Now that could be harder than it used to be, but that's what eBay's for. Next, you're gonna need a computer and also a Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle. The Intensity Shuttle is going to do the actual recording for us from the VCR. The next thing you're gonna need is a Ghana Mini AV to HDMI converter, as well as all the cables to connect all these things together. Also, you'll need a tape. Hold up, you're probably wondering why do we even need this mini converter thing? Why can't we just use the Blackmagic shuttle since it has all the in and out ports that we could possibly need to record something from a VCR? Well, to keep it short, there's a time code issue coming from the VCR into the Blackmagic shuttle that looks something like this when you record it. Now, if we add the Ghana mini converter, it solves that problem by changing the analog signal from the VCR into a digital signal going into the Blackmagic intensity shuttle. Boom, problem solved. Jumping in here, real quick. Like these VHS transitions? Download them now and help the coronavirus relief efforts. 50% of all proceeds will go directly to the Tarrant Area Food Bank in Fort Worth, Texas to help with their COVID-19 response efforts. Check the links in the description. Okay, back at it. So once you have all the pieces of hardware hooked up and everything is powered on, we're first gonna need to install some software from Blackmagic called Desktop Video. I'll link to this in the description. And when you install that software, you're going to get this Blackmagic Desktop Video Setup application as well as this Media Express application. Let's move this back over. All right. And then we need to set our record settings. So change your preferences to be 720p60. And make sure we have a full frame on video output. Video input is HDMI. Audio is embedded. And everything else you can leave alone. Say save. And back to Media Express, come over to Edit preferences, and in here we're going to change our video format to 720p60. The capture file format I'm going to change to AVI Motion JPEG. If you're on a Mac, there should be a QuickTime Motion JPEG option or even a QuickTime ProRes option. Those would both be great formats to use. We'll also need to change where you're capturing your video and audio to as well as still frames. I have mine go into an exports folder. And then let's uncheck this, uncheck this, and check this. Great. Say OK. Now we can come down here on the description and type VHS clip, whatever you want to call it, and then hit the plus button. It'll change the name to this. And if we go down to capture, we can click capture. The arrows say that we're capturing. Right now we're just capturing this blue screen, but I'm going to press play on the VCR and we'll be ready to rock. And you can see we've got some old family footage of one of my cousins as well as some dogs running around and playing in some water. Really great stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and stop this. So when you're done capturing, hit the capture button again, and you'll see a new clip has been added to your player window. And we can close this, open up our exports folder, and in there, there's our VHS clip, and we can play it back. There we go. You're ready to rock. If you plan on editing with this footage, then ProRes or the Motion JPEG is a great codec to use with this, but if you're intending on just saving this, you might want to convert it to an H.264. That's going to add a little bit of extra time, so to save you some time, rather than getting the Intensity Shuttle, I'd recommend that you pick up Blackmagic's H.264 Pro Recorder. This can take an HDMI signal and turn it into an H.264 as it records, keeping you from having to convert it on the back end. Okay, so now we know how to digitize. Now you're probably wondering about the other thing I mentioned in the intro, how to make money off of this. Well, if we do a quick search, we can find websites like this one that specialize in converting VHS tapes to digital formats, like a thumb drive. And you can see that they charge $50 for converting two items into a thumb drive. So you can use the same principle now that you know how to digitize tapes and turn them into digital files and start making some money for yourself. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you're interested in the custom VHS transitions that I've used throughout the video, please check out the links in the description. 